Well, local growers and makers now have an opportunity to sell their products during the winter months. For this week's Community Spotlight, Sarah Winkleman takes us to the Sprout Growers and Makers Marketplace. Growers, makers, and bakers are bringing the community together, one locally grown product at a time. It's a big draw for our community. It's not just, um, you know, it's not an everyday market. Anything from dried flowers to cutting boards can be found at the first sprout market of the season. The first market focused on youth involvement, and for one 11-year-old vendor, it was her first time selling her handmade necklaces. I had been on Pinterest and I saw some crazy cool ideas for uh, necklaces and I thought it'd be really cool to try to make my own necklaces and like that and then when I started making them I loved doing it so I thought why not just try to sell them. The other vendors inspire Faith to continue to make unique products. I really like it so then other people can see the creativity I put into them and you know show off their own necklaces and have it their own style. Even though each vendor has their own personal style, they are all coming together for one common goal. I believe in local foods, I believe in our local community, and uh, if we don't keep our dollars local, our small towns will start to die, and we need to do, you know, work really hard to help, help our communities thrive. Keeping it local and growing as a community. A little bit more awareness of the different cultures and the different people and the diversity within the region that we do have here. After the grand opening in April of 2014, the group wanted to expand and received a $440,000 grant through Art Place America to do just that. Processing kitchens and food hubs like this for small scale growers and makers are a thing of the past and we're reviving that and trying to bring, bring it back. Um, and I think that's what will help make our communities grow and thrive. With over 30 vendors and hundreds of attendees, you could say the community is sprouting towards positive change. For this week's Community Spotlight in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.